The Democrat Gazette commissioned a telephone poll of parents of public school children across the state to find out what their experiences with the schools have been like this school year. Two of those people who answered the survey also spoke with us on camera, Melody Bryson of Paragold and Patrick Coleman of Ma Mill. I have a daughter uh, that's in ninth grade at Marmaduke, and um, it's been quite stressful with the coronavirus, with the community, and with all of the teachers having to learn new processes, and the school having us, basically, the parents are not allowed to come into the school and be active within their child's day-to-day uh, -day school activities and, and schoolwork. It's been very hard for me as being a hands-on parent to be able to just keep up with everything that's going on. They have been excellent, and I think most schools have been really great at keeping everything as far as teaching them how to keep themselves sanitized, clean, prepared, and very well aware of what is happening in the world today. And I appreciate that. That's, that is wonderful. But as far as the schoolwork and their education and learning, it's been a really a hands-off approach because the virtual learning is really the school is teaching them, you know, directly through the computer and, and the parents are not as involved that way. So I don't care for that as much because I like to help. But my daughter's is is still doing well. So I have an 11 year old in the middle school at Mom Mill Charter. Um, we've been very pleased with the way the school has uh, updated us over the course of the school year uh, related to COVID-19. Uh, my student currently uh, goes roughly 75% uh, in person and 25% uh, virtual. On the days that he's virtual, uh, he's uh, in front of his computer doing his schoolwork, uh, just like he would be in class. Any questions that may arise from that, uh, he'll let us know and we'll email his teacher and they will get back to us um, very quickly. We've been very pleased. The quality of the instruction has been very well. He's, he's uh, shown improvements across the board on all his uh, subjects, including mathematics, which is one of his weakest. Uh, he's shown great improvements um, from this time last year. The one thing that I would say is that since this is a new process, is being prepared for crisis is very important. It's always better to be uh, prepared for something and be ready for it, as opposed to having something happen and then having to, to struggle and figure out how to take care of it. And that's what we're doing. We're having to, on the backside, figure out, okay, how do we, how do we uh, deal with this problem? So there are so many different ways that I think that the school is trying to f get prepared and Nothing is really set in stone, and there's so many different ways that each of the teachers are doing the classes, and nothing is just like mandatory, straight, everybody doing the same thing, so it makes it harder for the child. The child is having to do five different ways to learn this one class. So they're going to five different computer apps to do this one class. And children already are struggling just to get through the day and with anxiety and bullying and the suicide rates in children and just growing up is hard enough as it is. So the pandemic, this crisis that's going on, the streamlining of the classroom and learning should not be this much of a struggle and it is it's a lot it's a lot of a struggle for the child to just learn what they're trying to learn so, so. Like the melody bryson's daughter madeline bryson a freshman at marmaduke high school also shared her thoughts 
this year for ninth grade and me at Marmaduke High School has been a little challenging, especially with virtual school and in-person school. I went to in-person school at first, and I think it was pretty good going to school and going hands-on with a teacher, asking them questions. And then virtual school, you can't really get that. You can't sit there and ask them directly, like, what's happening, or I don't understand this. So you have to email them. It might take some time to get back, but I think the teachers are doing really good, and they are struggling with this because this is the first time the pandemic like this has happened. So, but I think they are really trying to help us, and it's 2020 has been really challenging, so.